So recently I posted a video on the channel and it was talking about how to stop a guard puller, like it gave some simple ideas. And one of the ideas that I shared was about doing a, a drill that we call the puller passer drill. And the way that drill works is you have one person trying to pull guard and one person trying to defend that, that you know, guard pull. And so in this video, I wanted to share, because we actually did this a little bit this uh, past week, and I wanted to share what the drill kind of looks like. Because, you know, we did it in the video and it didn't really look, you know, you, you can't really get a good idea. And so in this video, you can see that what we're doing is we're trying to pull or defend. And we broke this down into two different situational drills. The first one was simply just to try to pull full guard or pull half guard. And if you pull full guard, that means we have to lock the legs around the waist. Uh, pulling half guard means we need to get to our half guard position with an underhook. And then if we do that, we win. And then the top person, their job is to either defend the legs, so they have to stop the guard, full guard from being locked around their waist, or they have to defend the underhook, right? So if the person tries to full, pull half guard, they have to stop the person from getting the underhook. From there, the next drill that we did afterwards was to actually sweep off, uh, sweep or submit off that position, or top person would then have to pass or submit from the position. And so, again, progressively sort of, you know, getting better at the position or adding more resistance. And if you've read my ebook, which um, I kind of talk about this stuff a little bit, and again, that's 100% free to you guys if you want to download it, I talk about the idea of, prog you know, progression and incrementally, you know, adding the resistance to these moves. Because one of the toughest problems most people have is again they know how they know they theoretically know the positions right they know the, the techniques they know the stuff that they're supposed to do the problem happens when they try to actually execute it in live conditions against you know people of the same level as them so what i talk about in the book and what this is an example of is, is basically using situational rolling and, and act, what i call active drilling right where you're focused solely on a particular movement that you just got done training Focus on that, and then you can incrementally build that up. And so this way, you start from you know actually doing the move in a passive state where you're just practicing the technique and re doing reps, and then you add in the resistance, but you don't allow the full roll because again, once you go into the full roll position, then it changes the whole dynamic because it's no longer just pull uh, or just pass. It's oh well, if I pull guard and I mess it up, and the guy gets a side control, then he's going to smash my face, and then he's going to mount me, and then I'll have to fight that. Instead. If all you've got to worry about is, man, I just got to lock my legs around this person's waist, you know, that's a much easier thing mentally to deal with, right? Or I, all I've got to do is, you know, make sure that as soon as this guy starts to sit back, all I've got to do is defend. And it allows you to focus on that stuff much more directly instead of just kind of being out there rolling and having to deal with so many other, you know, situations. So again, use this drill if you guys are having one trouble pulling guard or if you're having trouble you know, defending the guard pull, like where someone, if they're just sucking you up into that, that full guard every single time, this is a great drill to add into the mix. One during an open mat, if you, uh, you know, if you're like a, someone that's not a coach and if you're a coach, it's a great drill for your, if you're dealing with like stand up or takedown days, you can kind of throw this into the mix as a warm up, um, you know, set of like situational role or drilling and, uh, it helps out a lot. So again, hope that video helps you guys. Talk to you next time. So for you guys, if you were pulling, how many of you guys found it pretty difficult to pull? It's fucking tough, right? If the guy's focused on, hey, I'm not getting pulled into that stuff 100%, right? It's really tough to do. So when you know, like if you look at a guy, you go to tournament, you look at a guy like that, Chad, or Matt, they come out there with those arms, fucking knuckles dragging the mat, you know you're getting pulled into a guard. So you need to be ready for that. As much as we love doing takedowns and stuff here, sometimes it just, in Jiu Jitsu, Guys can pull fast, right? So be ready for it. Uh, and again, put that, that sort of leads to being focused to that one thing. I'm not getting pulled down, because again, you go up against with one of those guys, you may not get out of there, and that might be the end of the match. Now, let's go ahead and add on to that position. So what we're gonna do is, we'll do the pull or pass the drill again. The only difference will be, it will not stop uh, when you get there. So basically, it'll be a two minute round, till, like, so like, for instance, if Chad pulls, he will pull guard, or whatever type guard he wants to pull. Could be open guard, full guard, whatever. And he's going to try to sweep or snip him. On top, I am going to be waiting for him. Like, all right, I'm not getting pulled down to that full guard. And as soon as he starts to pull, I'm going to try to pass or catch him in some submission, right? Whichever one of those things happens first, back up, do it again. Same person is doing the same job. Two minutes after, we'll, we'll switch who's going for what, okay? So think about this again. Um, if you're the puller, if you're a guard puller, this is... Basically, the opening of your match, right? You're pulling whatever kind of guard you want to go after, 
go after the sweet submission. And then top person, you're thinking, man, if I go up against a guard four, I need to be ready to go. And boom, blast, pass it right off the bat. Questions? Cool. Let's do it, guys. Two minutes? Two minutes. One, two, three.